if it all goes well, it's going to be a big day for the band. It is Sunday, and it's now, I think it's the 25th of June, um, 11 o'clock, looked out the window this morning about 4.35 o'clock and it was bright sunshine, and that is what it is now. I cannot, well, I'd say that I can't see a cloud, there's a bank of clouds over that way, but um, to the west, but I, the winds have actually changed, the southerly, southeasterly winds, which is good, because it means we're going to get some more nice hot sunshine. So hopefully, weather does what it says it's going to do, and we're going to get some 31 degree heat with low humidity. Looked at the, there's a local weather station, we've looked at that, and it's already down into the 50s, which is already lower than what it was yesterday. So I am raking. I've done one, the last one around the headland, and I'm now just turning over the rows that I did last night. Um, I just, it'll dry the rows out quicker, so then hopefully Dad can get on bailing. He wanted to start at 11, so I don't think he'll be far behind. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So I'm driving down just to, to the inside of the row, and then I've got the rotor, it's just pulling it across, turning it, so it pretty much turns it upside down, it corkscrews it across, and then it pulls, so then it puts the bottom on the top, which then helps it dry out basically. And then that other row, I actually got it just scraping up the edge of that one, um, it's quite tight. It works quite nicely. We often do this in the early morning so that we can get on a little bit earlier. Once I've done this one around the headland, I'll then go and just do the other one. And then I'll start on the straight work. Right, so it's now half past 11. I'm now on straight work and Dad is still on his first time around the headland. He's had a couple of problems, but I think getting there. Moisture's already lower than it was yesterday. It's now sitting around, he said about 10% which is where we, where we want it. Um, hopefully it's, we can carry on. So if it all goes well, it's gonna be a big day for the band. Um, we wanna try and get done about six hours of mails. We've done it before with moving. So hopefully if it all goes well, we'll be able to, we'll be able to do this field and then probably most of that one, if not all of it. Um, I'm gonna row the rest of this up now, and then I'll probably go onto the other field and row that one up as well, and then it's ready to go. And then I'll start carting. I've already got, I don't even know how many packs I've done. I've probably got a tray loader ready to cart. Um, hopefully my sister will help me out. I'll drop the rake off this and stick the trailer on, and then we'll start carting. It's gonna be slightly frustrating with these, some packs already on the headland, and I've gotta try and maneuver my way around them. But. Hopefully, it all goes well. One thing you're probably all wondering is why do I have a 210 horse by a tractor on the front of a 6 metre rake? Um, basically, it's the easiest tractor to put it on. Um, I've got electric spools on these, and it's individual on the spools, so it makes it unbelievably easy to use. Um, it, it's got a thousand PTO on it, it doesn't have the option for 540, but you just run it at 540 on the thing and it's only, it's not even 1200 RPM, so it's just tickling up and down, nice and steady, so fuel consumption is low, I know it's, she is thirsty, but fuel consumption is low, makes it really, really easy. Um, I got aircon, which I always like what I like, and I got decent GPS, so what more can you ask for, I suppose? Um, we could put it on the old 3650, but it can be a little bit clunky, and the old girl needs a bit of a sort out, but this one is nice easy to put it on, just tickle up and down, and it does the job quite nicely. So we've done this for the last few years now. I think I was laughed at when I, meant, when I suggested that we could put it on here, but then after having put it on here, it's 
we haven't wanted to go back. So if we weren't bathing straight away, we probably have it on the other one, but it works well. Oh, next step. Thanks, Dad. That's going to be really exciting. I'm going to have to try and get away, get around here. It's going to be really exciting, actually. Also this power shift gearbox in here makes it really easy, really easy. clouds about now but still all right um, it's, the clouds broken up the cloud is very broken so also lots of sunshine which is nice um, perfect hay making weather you could say um, I don't actually know what the temperature is out there now I'm probably sitting in about 18 degrees here which is quite nice um, I think I'm going to move on to the field show the hedge next I need to double check with dad to make sure he wants me to do that I'll go and have a quick look at it as well, see if it's almost good to go. It's gonna be a little while before we get on there because there's quite a lot on it. He's gonna be a while bailing, he's going very steady. Um, which is good because hopefully there's gonna be a lot on it. Literally less than 30 seconds later after I did that previous video, he stopped and it looks like he's bust a shit bolt. I might just finish off what I got here and I'm going to go and up and give him a hand. Hopefully he'll be able to unblock it quickly. But, how typical is that? Get the camera out, say it's all going well, and he stops.
quarter to four. I've just finished raking and I've got the trailer on the E2. My sister's gonna help me do that. And I'm gonna head to film, start karting. He's gone. He's already done probably two, two and a half thousand bales. So I've got to work out to try and catch up with him. Hopefully we can go till quite late tonight and get most of it done. Because uh, I'm not here tomorrow normally. Uh, so I'm gonna go and catch him up I suppose. Just done the load the first load up and there's quite a few more to do. Uh, I say Grace on the trailer. If you is my sister, she's only 14, bless her. Um, she's doing alright. I'll just show her how to get out the gate, believe it. She got, this is the first year that she's done this. Um, she did the first field alright, and we're now on to the second field of the year. Uh, I just showed her how to get in, and I'm going to show her how to get out because there's two, well, three, three big ditches either either the side of the gateway and one the other side of the gateway so we don't want to end up in there because that could be quite serious so it's going to show how to do that um, and then we'll get back to the island on the first load load back now I think um, so it's probably roughly a third of it uh, he's run out of acid so I'm just pumping up a mini compressor and then I'll take that up to him and I've got a, a pipe which I'll stick in there and then I put, we can put compressed air into it and then it siphons out really quickly so we've got quite a big pipe that we can put into here and then put blow some compressed air into there we're going to cover all the hole up and when we blow it in it then blows it up and it pumps it through and it actually siphons really quickly and works really well so now just take now just taking this lot to the field i've got the compressor uh, 
um, press pipe, siphon pipe, the acid and, you know, what you call that, nozzle to be on the end of the compressor. Um, a little bit prepared for carriers, going down a little rough lane, a small pallet, but hopefully we'll make it. So he's got this whole field to do there. It's about 10 hectares and it's now quarter six. <laughs> Um, hope, hopefully we can get a few hours done tonight, get the headlands off and get the straight work off, and then tomorrow he's going to go and do a bit of contract bait and come back and finish that off, hopefully, if it all goes to plan anyway. Made it to the field alright, I'm just going to ease all the way out there, I'm just going to wait for him to finish off those last little bits, and then once he's back we'll then fill him up. Still not with acid, of course, didn't go the way we wanted it to, but we've done it. We've run out of air before it managed to compress it in, it was all wind and rubbish, so, but we signed it in, it's all right now, and he's now going on the next field. We are probably half an hour, hour behind where we would have liked to have been, but that's how it goes. I need to crack on casting because I've got a lot to do. It's been a while since I picked the camera up. It's now almost it's 10 to 10. Um, sunset. However, it's clouded over and it's windy. Which hopefully means no dew. Um, Dad's probably halfway through that second field now. Uh, Zitra and I have cleared the whole of the first field and we've already done a load. A load being 22 packs. So we put 20 packs in the trailer and then uh, bring two back in spikes that amount of um, We've already done a load off there. I've already chased some up as well whilst just going back. So yeah, it's a little bit frantic. Um, there's rain showers about, but hopefully we'll be all right. We're gonna miss them. Um, it's all gone a bit quickly, to be honest. We were slightly behind where we wanted to be, but we, Dad's actually made quite good progress. So I'm catching him on the casting, but it's taking a while because he's going quite quick. So he's done all the headlands on this one and done quite a bit of straight work. So the headlands are a third of the field. And, and then he's done quite a bit of straight work, so he's probably almost up to halfway now. So, yeah. Get, carry on, Carlson. Looks like my sister's got her lights on. There's, we put some LEDs in the roof of the A2. However, we've got some full set of LEDs coming from UTV lights in weeks time so hopefully we'll see them dad has got his lights on he's still going which is good hopefully that means there's no dew or not too much dew he's going to go as long as he can the better as much as we can like i say i'm not here tomorrow being monday as i've got a, some school trip which is slightly annoying um doing this one-handed is hard Dodgy filming. Sorry about that. But I get two on top of each other, and then my Grace will come alongside, and then I'll put on two onto the trailer. You'll do. I need to get a phone now so I can stick this to the window, especially when I'm in here because you need two hands to drive. Hopefully she goes forwards. Back behind you. Like I say, it's her first year doing it, so she will have a little bit of learning to do. It's the barren going up the field. Yeah, we're gonna, we'll go all night if it takes it, but hopefully, he's probably got another cool two or three hours work on here, 
I don't think he's going to get it all done tonight, but he wants to get as much as he can done. And whatever he gets done, I'm going to cut off. So, I'm going to crack on and I'll pick the camera up in a bit. Um, hopefully, my phone doesn't get go flat anytime soon. Um, it's now just about five miles ahead. I loaded the load up five minutes ago. She's back at the yard. I just went up to see Dad because he had a broken bell and the Baron managed to put an extra three in its stack and make a pack of 24 and then it falls into the tail pieces. So, it's up and sort that out. So far today, we have done the best part 250 packs. So, it's quite an impressive day to be fair. We're still going. I just had a feel, we had a feel on the on the swath that he's going on and it felt crispy and he's still got plenty of dust so we're going to get going. Um, yeah, he's done 95 packs on this field already and he did 151 on the other. Um, so I've still got my work cut out, I've already taken, I've only taken off 40 packs. So I've still got plenty to go at. Um, I need to charge my phone up again annoyingly. It's like dying, so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna crack on. Knowing that I can't get it to turn a torch on, so selfie mode anyway. Um so we finish off the day we've done about we've done around 250 packs, which is 5,250 bales. That's fairly impressive considering we have had seven or eight shear bolts go. Uh, couple of mist ties, all those sort of palavers as you normally do when you're bathing. Um, but even having done that, we've still had a fairly good day. Um, got loads, maybe two loads left to get off the field, which isn't too long. Um, about 10 to 11, it suddenly got really, really damp and he had to stop, unfortunately. He's got 15 ends left on this field, so that's probably I'd like to think that's another 50, 60 packs, but it's beginning about four, four packs in it, but I'm not entirely sure. And I've got to say, in the dark, trying to find packs is quite difficult. But anyway, um, I'll probably actually end up, I'll end the video now because it's getting late and I can't really see very much. I think Dad's taken over from my sister on the tractor because I think she needs to go to bed. She's got school tomorrow as well. Um, so yeah, a fairly good day in, in the end. Hopefully Dad will be able to finish off this, this off in the morning and get it done. And then we've only got one field left out of our 100 acres, which is a 13 hectare field. So whatever that is in acres, I don't know. But so yeah. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.